Good day to everyone. My name is Mr. Cordell Halley from the Division of Culture and I will be your drum co tutor. Welcome to our first of five lessons in our drum co teaching aid series. At the end of this series, you should know the following the history of the snare drum, the history of marching bands and drum co. In this lesson, we will look at the snare drum some famous drummers, marching band, and drum corps. Where do you think snare drums originated from? Yes, snare drums has roots in medieval times, roughly in the 1300s. The ancestor to the snare drum is the tabor. The tabor was a double-headed instrument that was worn over the right shoulder with a strap. The tabor was used in the 1500 and 1600s by Swiss soldiers to signal each other when out on the battlefield. After a while, the drum changed appearance and was made longer and worn alongside the body. By the 1600s, new manufacturing methods made it easier to create snare drums and adjust the tension. The addition of screws around the 1700s allowed the snare drum to be secured and tensioned more firmly, creating a tighter snap and brighter sound that replaced the loose rattle of the tabor. During the 1800s, developmental techniques continued to improve the tensioning method, enhancing the overall sound quality. The drummers were able to create more complex songs and rhythmic patterns. After the 1900s, the snare drum underwent some major improvements to its design. For better tensioning, metal counter hoops were created and added to help tighten the drum heads efficiently. Coiled wires were also added to the design during this time, which is now a familiar feature of the snare. From jazz to rock and roll, military tunes to classical music, the distinct sound of the snare transcends genres and continues to be a favorite for percussionists around the world. Today, there are several manufacturers that help carry on the snare's legacy offering the instrument in a variety of materials, shells, styles, and sizes. The legendary Ludwig Drums was one of the first companies to specialize in large-scale snare manufacturing, and they are still considered industry leaders today for their high-quality instrument and superior sound. Other great brands include Mapex, Dunnett, Canopus, and more famous drummers. Gene Krupa. Gene Krupa was the godfather of show drumming, turning even the most simple accompaniment into a performance. Whether simply given the rhythm of improvising a drum solo with Benny Goodman's band, whether drumming, big band, or jazz, or swing, he wasn't just playing the drums. Krupa was a showman, and his style influenced many a modern drummer from jazz rock to speed metal. Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich was self-taught, and one of the fastest drummers around. Best known for his jazz drumming, he also played with Frank Sinatra, helped Phil Collins with his hi-hat work, encouraged John Bonham and Bill Ward toward improvisation, and was one of the first to do extended drum solos, which would later become a staple with rock bands. He has been called the best drummer ever. He was definitely a virtuoso bringing swing and energy wherever he played. Female drummers. Sheila Escovedo is a well-known drummer, singer, and songwriter 
who had her big break during the 80s. She is best known for her work with Prince. Karen Carpenter. Though her career was tragically ended by anorexia, Karen Carpenter was known as a drummer before she was famous as the lead singer of the Carpenters. She was especially admired for her ability to drum and sing at the same time, something that is not easy to do. Rock drummers. Phil Collins. Though Phil Collins also played jazz, he is best known for being the lead drummer in the prog rock band Genesis. He is widely considered to have been the best drummer of the 1970s, often coming into the studio to support other well-known names. He is known for his gated snare drum sound. Now Damage has forced him to retire as a drummer in 2007. John Bonham. When Led Zeppelin's first album came out in 1969, rock drumming changed forever. John Bonham had created a sound and drum effects with a single bass drum that most percussionists could not imitate with two. Bonzo, as he was called, was so essential to the band's unique sound that it disbanded after his death in 1980, only sporadically reuniting for single concerts since then. Bonham and Led Zeppelin were pioneers, experimenting and blending elements of jazz, blues and even folk music, and are generally considered to have helped form the hard song that would eventually be called heavy metal. Marching bands. A marching band is a group of instrumental musicians who perform while marching, often for entertainment or competition. Instrumentation typically includes brass, woodwind, and percussion instruments. Most marching bands wear a uniform, often of a military style that includes an associated organization's color, name, or symbol. Drum Corps. A modern drum and bugle corps is a musical marching unit consisting of brass instruments, percussion instruments, electronic instruments, and color guard, typically operating as independent non-profit organizations. Corps perform in competitions, parades, festivals, and other civic functions. Participants of all ages are represented within the Corps activity, but the majority are between the ages of 13 and 22 and are members of corps within Drum Corps International or Drum Corps Associates. Today, we learned about the snare drum, famous drummers, marching band, drum corps.